a TF and it's just going to be a bit of a farm fest and they're more or less going to scale into the game and but you sort of provide similar-ish things. But then you have the TF who has the ultimate available to go and join the team, whereas at Averis you're going to have to run, what, TP Flash? Yeah, so eventually I'll get the name of that item right. It's only been like a gajillion years since they changed it. Um, will help at least mitigate some of the Vara's trading potential as Yike and El Yoya trading blows. Rescali starting to wander down, but man advantage for the side of G2. Mickey X hooks the wall, however. And suddenly this play starts to feel bad. Two-man knockup is there. Flip back from Caps is good, but they just do not have the damage at this point in the game. Yike gets taken down for first blood. Combo from Caps, not that menacing. With everyone fighting for control of this. El Yoya on the top side as well, however. Might just be the 2v2, but El Yoya's incredibly low. El Yoya has to be careful not to just give his life here as well. Damage coming down with the Sky Splitter. Mirwan now forced to flash out, but Yike, of course, no flash of his own. Means MDK will walk away. Caps with the Weaver's Wall. They can complete these on the mob here. They've abandoned Terror, and that's what Cap's going to do. No flashes. Trying to get on the opposite side, but he manages to get them both next to Yike. The flick back is clutch. El Yoya back in a brush of his own design, hoping to hold on here, but it's an easy, straightforward dive for the side of G2. Broken Blade tanks with the tower. Now they can set their sights on these plates. That a lot of teams get a little bit too comfortable in the copy-paste jungle pathing and aren't willing to anticipate someone maybe breaking that pathing or conceding some gold to make a play is now on the bottom side, Hansama, nice flash backwards, trying to get the reset on the Alvaro. That's big. Hansama can now try to run to safety. MDK fumbling the dive. Feather's going to fly. Hansama tries to back to me. Just doesn't have enough health, enough time. The pullback. Die obviously not one of the champions who usually itemizes. Hold that thought. Weaver's wall coming in. Caps making an appearance on the top side. Flick back into the waiting arms of Broken Blade. The tower as well. Mirwan can't even auto attack. He'll get taken out by the tower. And Caps grabs enough. Where is this river area and spotted exactly what MDK are up to? MDK need to get this. Need to continue to assure their own scaling to buy time. Huge damage coming in from Supa. Power the Kraken Slayer as now the rest of the team tries to chase. Excellent disengage comes in from Elio. Yeah, Frescali the only one in the pit. This is a bit awkward. Forced to retreat now. They get the kill onto Mickey, but they also just leased the Drake for G2. It was the reset from playing behind Supa and then set up for the play, but Mirren cost. Point and click. Cleanse comes out a little early, but it's okay. He's still holding on for now. Flick back, flashed away. Both sums forced out. And another gold card, the tower disabled, G2 relentless. And this is the thing, it's not its not against the melee matchup, it's not the on-hit Varus, it's a thousand. The luxury of a support to protect him. We're unlikely to just get bullied here as G2 trying to force a play on the bottom side. Immediate engage, immediate flip back on a super, the flash away from the minefield. Autoing the ward briefly, but now trying to finish away. Caps, ulti going in from the Ike, trying to take down the AD carry, but Supa still standing, crucially, Hansama. Rocket already done. Retreat now coming in. Oh, they caps. need to lock down Caps. Supa getting away. Keep your eyes on Broken Blade. He has the flash. He has the gold card ready to go. Shield now going in, but Supa just doesn't have the space to deal damage. He doesn't have the health bar. G2 bullying MDK out. G2 would need to try and set up, though, if they on this mid wave. If they want to try and get something, Mickey! Push back on him. Mickey is big! Quick pick and another kill into the back pocket of Supa. Hand delivered. 0-3-1 the score for Mickey. Big fumble on that first play, hooking into the wall. Two more deaths. I think a little out of his control as MDK have gotten further and further. For Alvaro and El Yoya to start to drift to cover a lot of the G2 map plays. And that's where it starts to get... Broken Blade, though, continues to be the thorn in the side of MDK. He's the one with the individual lead for G2. Knocking down yet another tower, and it's really tough for anyone on this team to match him. Super doesn't... Have... So they've got ease of access into the tier 2. You can see here, Caps shifting Yike. from boss to cover. Lots of damage now coming in. Super unstoppable. Really... Just in your jungle. So, Yike takes a step too far forward and opens up MDK to get that top tower. And now, again, it's just... More and more like they're favored, but G2 with tools to outmaneuver them, which has been how G2 have won a lot of their games against MDK. It hasn't always been, you know, spell. Frescari now going to try to push Cavs. Dash back, flick back, traded now. Good bit of damage. Cavs push back into Frescari's tower, though. Now going to try to ult out to safety, but gets caught under the tower. The quick thumbs up. That's okay with me, buddy. 1v1 on the side lane. Can they try and keep this bear out of the pit? Very quick blades. If they sync this up, if they time this up, it should be fine. They've got perfect vision now, courtesy of the Destiny. Coming in from Broken Blade, they back off their discipline. They're buying time, they're taking time. 2.3k getting lower and lower. In goes Yike, down goes Yike. The Baron belongs to MDK. Soul point now for G2, the consolation prize. But all of MDK wearing purple. Great punish from Frescali. MDK were like, look, chances are... They're, they're already being pushed out. A lot of pressure coming through from Alvaro means that G2 don't really find a comfortable space to back. They're going to be G2 completely pushed into their own base. The only thing it looks like G2 might try and play around is this ward in the mid lane. Maybe the nose. That's like G2 just trying to punish Whoa. the resets here. Super? What? 
Now G2 are on the chase. 42 seconds left on Supa. Broken Blade steps forward. Gold card connects. Cleanse out from Mirwin. Rocket. Oh! Clean hit from Hot Sauce, but we need what happened there? Was he caught in the wall during the animation of the I'm not sure. We're gonna have to look at the replay, but either way, G2 managing to get the picks that they needed. MDK so desynced on the resets, and G2 now gonna be able to start to push in as the host is a flick. Where G2 starts to take over again. They have so much CC, they have so much setup, they can't afford to get over aggressive. There's still a Baron. Mickey's gonna give his life to make sure that this tower drops. Caps needs to be careful on the retreat. Two seconds left on Supa. Gonna start zooming out of this base. TP from behind. It's not the flank ward from TP or for G2 that matters. Fresh it's Fresh Gowie on the back line. Gonna try to scoop him. They don't know. Fresh Gowie still works. play. It might just work out. Push him mid, two waves gonna die to the tower. So MDK! Flash forward, Fresh Gowie knocked up, and Alvaro wants to turn it right back. Push back from Fresh Gowie, he's big. Fresh Gowie's still standing. Mickey not gonna connect on the hook. The Azir still standing. The sidestep on the rocket is big. G2 now retreating. MDK have a wave to play on the top side. They take out Mickey X and keep this push going. Another wave backing them up. They're looking to break open the base of G2. G2 over eager, get punished. He's BB trying went, to make the play. BB went mid to cover the wave push, so the MDK won't be able to get two towers off of this, but they will definitely get that top lane tower for themselves. G2 try to get a little bit more into the play and ends up back by he's going to recess. But honestly, that might give the play that uh, G2 are looking for. There's no TP available for anyone on MDK. And maybe that's where G2 look to try and find that TP or that collapse onto someone like Mirren in the mid lane. Trying to catch Frescali in the same way that he caught Caps moments ago. But play's going to fizzle. Yike is there. So ultimately, the There's dragon. the play. There's the play. Mirren. Now in trouble, Caps coming in, Broken Blade now coming in, Root goes out, Mirwin immediately gonna cleanse, but it's just not enough, Broken Blade gonna run him down, the Vars has got nowhere left to go, Alvaro now running for the hills, as fast as he can back to the rest of his teammate, but here comes Yike, Alvaro needs to get out, he tries to dash back to safety, the shield coming in from El Yoyo's clutch! They look for the plane now, Daisy, Base doing work. Good hook, Frescawi locked up, pushback is there to try to disengage, but the stun now coming in, Yike over the top of Bear, right into the back line, Supa, ghost up. He has to turn this back into his favor. The flip back not going to connect. That's big. That's one cool. Then Alvaro here as well. Two supports in Supa. Is it enough to take down G2? Yike. Has no flash to get over the wall, so MDK going to try and push forward. 7k, getting lower. El Yoya can try to get in the pit. Alvaro using the engage, just wants to pick off Mickey. Supa continues to step up. Baron down in favor of G2. MDK, is there still a fight here? Nice back step on the Unraveled Earth is Yike. Gonna create space for the rest of his team now to recall. Arm though. The minute left, two waves. Not really in a position to do much. Especially oh, Yike! Oversteps, unstoppable now, forced to flash. Daisy caught out. Mirwan caught out once again. Flick back is there. Good damage. Mirwan lives for a second longer. Caps gets the kill and Broken Blade and Caps are now tearing down the top side. Split focus. MDK have to be incredibly decisive because the rest of G2 is already moving into mid. They're getting pulled back and forth. They can't decide where they need to go. Caps and Broken Blade are now stepping up. It's like a game of tag, and MDK are the ones losing. I didn't expect them to be able to get BB in towards the top side of the base, but with MDK committing to Yike, they see their moment to catch on to Mirwin, but now Alvaro. Alvaro fishing for the play, the flash forward, but no! The immediate denial, he stops the play in its track. Alvaro forced to retreat. Broken Blade stepping up with the gold card. Caps has the damage, the flick back, but no. No unraveled earth. And Frescali again turning the play back. But already, Supa's the one in trouble. Supa trying to fire back. Supa trying to get the damage down. He can't pull the feathers back. He's down. G2 in the blink of an eye. They bring the game back in their favor. Every single time they find one pick, one moment, one opportunity, and G2 will shut down Mad Lines Koi. They always take the shot, not letting that one slip away, Mirwin. He's been bullied all game. I don't think the ending play here is going to be any, any different. Hans Hop has got no health, just enough from the Crit Bloom. And G2, it was messy, it was sloppy, but a win is a win. They move on to face Fnatic.